uh, more into this session, right? Okay, great. So, hi, uh, thanks, Armit, for the introduction. So, before we go okay. deep into the sessions, right, I want to take one minute from each of the speakers to talk more about them. Harmit has already spoken. So my name is Mukesh Kala. I am working as an RPA manager with the Boundaryless Group. I am a three times Shriyapath MVP. I am associated with the community. I am a certified trainer and advanced developer. Feel free to connect with me in case you need any help on RPA UI path. Right. So Palli, over to you. All right. Thank you. Uh, thanks everyone for joining today. Uh, instead of being a weekend, you all took time to join today. Highly appreciate that. Uh, myself, Palni, I'm basically from Tamil Nadu, but now I'm re now resided in Bangalore. Uh, I'm two times UiPath MFE uh, consecutively for the last two years. And I also take care of uh, Chennai chapter. And you can find me mostly with uh, UiPath forum. And I'm highly active there. And apart from that, you can uh, look me at uh, technical sessions and uh, conferences. And if you want to contribute or if you want to uh, have some clarifications of how UiPath uh, programs and platforms work, I'm just tipping away. You can reach me out anytime. And uh, Mukesh has already shared the LinkedIn profiles in the chat. You can connect with us. Uh, We're always happy to help guide you through that. Thank you. Great. Thanks, Palni. Hi, Krishna. Over to you. So, Krishna is our jun most junior speaker today. Yes, Krishna. Hello, sir. Good morning, everyone. So, I'm Krishna Kumar. I'm a UiPath student developer champion for the year 2023 and now been an RPA associate certified student. So, happy to see you all. And uh, uh, my mentors were uh, like, they invited us and thank you for this opportunity, sir. So, okay. Awesome. So uh, guys, the format of this webinar is not that we have a fixed agenda, right? So the idea is to answer your queries and uh, help you in your career path in the UI path. Okay. So as uh, most of you, or I would say some of you are from the Nal Mudalban program, right? Some of you are the students who might be joining these sessions for the first time, right? So for those people, I have a small PPT. Trust me, I won't bore you. It's a small presentation. I just want you to talk through what exactly is this RPA technologies. And then we would open the floor for everybody to ask the questions, right? You can ask the question to Palni, Harmit, myself. Uh, we have the student champion also. So if you're a student, if you want to directly know from the student, that's why we have Krishna here, right? So he would be happy to address oral questions, right? So with that, I'm going to share my screen and uh, I want to just talk about what exactly we are talking, right? You guys are able to see my screen? Yeah. Okay, great. So guys, we are talking of a technology, which is RPA. So when I say RPA, I simply means robotic process automation. Now, as soon as I say robots, most of you would be thinking that, hey, we are trying to build some software robots, Jarvis, or a kind of a chitty, right? walking and talking robots. No, we are talking about something which is the software robots. So RPA stands for robotic process automation, which is the technology to mimic the human actions. In simple terms, whatever as a human you are able to do with the keyboard and the mouse, the robots are also able to do the same thing for you. Okay. So as a human, if you are typing on the keyboard, if you are clicking with the mouse, reading the data, everything the robot should be able to do. Right. So this is what at a very high level, what exactly this RPA technology is. Now, you might be thinking, why would somebody like to mimic a human action? Right. If there is a human, why do I need robots? So to answer the question, let's say Krishna is a graduate. OK, I hire Krishna in my company and I tell him that Krishna daily, you have to go to a portal. You have to download a data, put it in an Excel and send it as an email. So Krishna, I do one day, two day, one week, two week. And after that, Krishna will say, hey, I'm getting bored. I'm not learning anything new. This work is absolutely mundane, repetitive, and I'm not growing myself. So that's why a robot come in picture, which takes your all the mundane, repetitive tasks from you so that you are free to use your creative mind and do the things which require decision taking, right? So that's why we need robots. Now, you might be thinking that it is only applicable to web or database or email. Absolutely not. Robots can operate on any application which is running inside the computer. Notepad, calculator, SAP, databases, website, web browser, web application. It can operate on any applications. Structured reading and actioning of the data, right? Robot not only read the data, but they can take actions on the data as well. 
which means that if I have a data in a portal, I want to filter that, short the data. I have a data in an Excel. I want to create reports, pivot. Each of these things can be done with the help of RPA. And if as a human, I can make mistake, right? If you give me a task, I would take mistake. I would do the mistakes. I would take weekends. I would take leave. I would fall sick. However, for the robots, they work without any mistakes, without any resting. They can work 24 cross 7 without any errors, right? Because these are the softwares. Quick to implement, powerful to scale. When you actually start learning this technology, you might be thinking that Mukesh, whatever you are talking seems like a lot of coding, right? But trust me, it is absolutely low code. You just have to drag and drop and then you can build the automation, right? I see some of the people raising hand, guys. We will have the Q&A session dedicated to answer all your queries. So please park your queries, okay? So robots are quick to implement, powerful to scale. What do I mean powerful to scale? Which simply means that today, if I want three robots, I can do it. Tomorrow, if I want five robots, it is just a matter of click to increase from three to five, right? I'll explain it when I'm coming to the benefit parts, right? Mm -hmm. So this is in a nutshell what exactly RPA can do. And trust me, these are the only five high level topics. Robots are much more capable. Now, this slide is important to create and demystify some of the myths. What RPA is not, right? It is not the walking or the talking robots or the humanoid. We are here talking about the software robots. It's not the warehouse robots, which you see in the Amazon, Flipkart and those factories. No, these are the software robots. Human replacement. For the people who are already aware, you might understand that what we are talking. But as I talk about RPA, the first question comes to mind that, hey, it is going to do all my work. What am I going to do? So RPA is not a human replacement. RP is just taking the mundane and the repetitive task from you so that you are free to use your brain for creative purpose, decision making that all robot cannot do, right? So robot is just taking the mundane and the repetitive task from you. So all the things, all your creativity, all your decision making still are with you. So robots are just freeing up you from the mundane repetitive tasks so that you are free to do the other set of important tasks for a company or an organization. Okay. What robots can do? Log into application, move files, read and write from the database, get data from web, connect to system APIs, which simply means that today I'm sitting in Dehradun and I want to know that, hey, what, how is the temperature in Chennai or how is the temperature in GNK, right? I can write a robot which can connect to weather APIs, get those information, send it via an email. Emails, PDF, Excel, attachments, all of these things robots can do, okay? This is my last slide, right? It has some of the use cases. And uh, since most of us are students, I want to focus on the education one, okay? Enrollment process. So every year, the college enrolls students, right? So let's take an example. The first year I got 1000 enrollment process. So the enrollment process for one student is exactly the same for the 1000 students. So if I, the only thing changing, it may be the name, the subject, the course, or the fees, or this personal information. But if you see from a college point of view, if there are 1000 enrollments, somebody is manually filling up that form, manually putting that information in the college system, and then generating the ID cards and all the other stuffs. He is doing that mundane and repetitive, right? I can write a RPA software robot to automate the enrollment process. Now, what is this scaling means, right? Which I was talking. Let's say next year in 2024, the college start getting 5,000 applications. Now the college would have to spend money to hire new people, hire new clerks, train them, give them software, give them salaries, right? If I was using a software robot, I can just click on my server and I can increase the robot from two to four to six to eight. And the other side, right? Let's say in 2026, the volume drops again to 500. Now you have extra resource with the college. Now the same thing happens with the largest organization and the large company where it is difficult to manage these resources. With RPA, it is just a matter of click. You can have attendance robot, you can have classroom, online learning, question answering robots, right? I can have a robot for all the new joiners. Whenever you go to a college, they have a lot of question. Hey, where should I return my book? Where is my library? Where is my, where would I get my enrollment card? Where should I submit my fees, right? I can have a robot which answers all the queries of the students, right? So these are some of the examples 
which you can relate to right now the other examples are industry standard like supply chain it in it right i have uh, 6000 employees in my company or i have 1 lakh employee in my company i have to install a software in all the computers or i need to update the version I cannot go to every function one by one. I will write an RPA robot, which will go to each and every software, every computer and update the software. Same like college, you would have an HR payroll, generating the salary slips, offer letter, experience certificates, and number of use cases. Client services, where you just call the customer care and say, hey, I want to change the address. Now, for a company, your address might be in 10 systems. RPA robot updates the system in all the 10s, right? Accounting comes to bank and reconciliation you have debit data you have credit data lot of data you want to reconcile you want to generate the reports mundane repetitive task we can use robots right so these are some of the use cases in businesses which is at a very high level when you go deep down to the technology you will understand that yes there are a lot and lot of use cases which can be done right now once you're done with the session, for those who are beginning, we will send you an email that will have the link on where do you get started, right? So to get started, right, you just have to go to your browser, okay? And you would have to go to this website, which is called academy.uipath.com, right? This is a free resource, I would say free website where you can just come and start your learning journey, right? And I can see some of the people are drawing on the screen, right? So I'll just erase them, right? Please don't draw. <laughs> okay, I'll clear everything. So, yeah. Please so, maintain a tech forum, please. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, here, this is their UiPath Academy. Absolutely free of cost. You don't have to pay anything. You just have to sign up here and you can start your learning journey, right? What do I get? You get a certificate, which you can put on your resume, which you can put on your CV and say that, hey, I have done this courses. So you can go to your courses and here you have the courses to get started with. Okay. So in case you want, want to know that where should I get started, you can just come here and click on this button, which is learning plans, right? So learning plans actually tells you what do you want to do? SAP, professional, everything, right? For the beginners, you can just start with this one, which is the Automation Explorer, right? Because you guys are fresh, you are exploring. So start with something which is Automation Explorer. And once you complete all of this model, you are definitely going to get certificate. And you can see that we have all these modules which are available for you, right? So with that, I'll stop my screen sharing. And now we'll open the platform for the Q&A, right? Uh, Harmit, how do we want to do it? We want to take it from the chat or we want to let people unmute themselves and speak? Yeah, first we can take it from the chat and then uh, people can then raise their hand and then uh, we can answer the queries. Okay, guys. So you can just use the chat, right? And uh, you can ask the questions, right? And if you want anything to uh, get answer from the student champion, from UiPath community side, from MVP side, right? You can ask me, Palli, anything from community side, Harmit, anything which you are a student and you want to get answer as a student, Krishna is here, right? So, okay, guys. So you can use the chat or let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I saw somebody raising hand. So you can put your question on the chat or maybe you can unmute yourself. Meanwhile, people are typing. No questions or I think people are thinking that's fine. Okay. We have one question from the panel. I think Harmi, this is a question for you. Yeah. Uh, just a second. Sorry. You can use a UiPath community logo on the panel. Thank you. Yeah, Penakin has a question, Mukesh. Okay. okay, I am from mechanical engineer and I am started in what things I should learn apart from mastering UiPath tools. Okay, that's a good question, right? So RPA is a low code tool, right? I am not saying no code, I am saying low code tool, which means that 
there would be some places where a little bit of programming language would be required. Okay. So if you are starting with RPA UI path, I would recommend you to start with the .NET language. It can be C sharp or it can be VB.NET. Right, because this complete framework is built on the concept of .NET. So, if you are starting fresh, I would start. I would request you to start with VB.NET. But if you are just starting and you are okay, you can start with C# -sharp or you can start with VB.NET. Any of that, right? So that definitely is going to add values, right? And Palli, what else do you think we can cover? Yeah. Um, yeah. To just address that, I'm I'm even a mechanical engineer, so you can uh, right. like I can share some uh, thoughts like what I go through, gone through so far, and how I started. So basically, like what Mukesh told, you can uh, start with VB.NET. That's a very basic level, and then C# -sharp is a little advanced to VB.NET. You can learn that. Uh, but when you start, you don't need to really worry about do I need to learn from scratch all the coding languages. No, not required. You just start with the academy, and then you start to learn about the products. And then you eventually get to know what are the syntax or what are the coding knowledge that really required. And once you start working on any use cases and practice more, then you'll get to know all the syntax and all the basic codings. And then you can grow eventually. So that's how you need to start. You don't need to worry about whether do I need to know coding or not. You just start, uh, start using the product first and then go through the academy and then you have few other resources outside academy as well like we have youtube channels like even mukesh has one channel and everyone like uh, providing a lot of resources through youtube and blogs you can refer them and then you can start using it and then maybe meantime you can bring in all the uh, coding knowledges and then you can learn that as well so that's how i started and then now i'm uh, i know c sharp of course but still people who are really uh, new to coding then they you don't need to worry about it you just need to start so that you'll get to know at some point yeah great Pali. yeah we have one more question uh from dave yeah, so he, he has mentioned yeah yeah, okay. Go. In UiPath yeah. Academy, since they have removed, okay, they have not removed the course. Okay, let me share my screen and I'll show it to you. It's not removed. Uh, it's already here, right? So the question is, once we are done with uh, this, this one, I want to go for the advanced. Where should I go, right? So once you come to the academy, you go here and you click on this button, which is learning plans, and then you have this one, which is the automation developer professional training. Right. So if you expand this, this is nothing but your advanced course of 39 courses, right? Most of it is a overlap with your basic foundation as well. So this is where your advanced course are coming, right? Automation Explorer. Then the second one is the associate. And if you scroll down, here you have the developer professional, right? So the advanced RPA developer, uh, just for the guys who are old, previously it was called UI ARD. Now the name has been changed to advanced developer professional. That's why you are seeing this change, right? So you don't have to worry. You just have to go here in the automation developer professional training. And then these are the modules, right? I see in the chat one more question, which is on the same thing. So I would like to address that as well, which is from uh, Pinakin. What all free courses should I take? And I look for completing in the academy, right? So if you are looking as a developer Pinakin, right? So this would be the place again for you as well. You just go to academy, come to learning plans, and you have something which is automation developer professional training right inside that you would have three sections the first one is the automation explorer which will give you a high level idea how to build automations the second one is for the associate and the third one is an advanced developer right so if you start from the beginning you have the complete roadmap here okay so i hope that answers and i'll stop the sharing now yes almit over to you uh, yeah so okay we have one question okay so there's one more question uh i want to know how to start up a company using ui path i want to start my own company this is from Rajesh. so we already have an uh, entrepreneur in our today's meeting <laughs> that's good okay so that's good yeah. Rajesh, that you want to start your own company right but uh, see uh see personally i'm not in a place to give that question because I don't have my own company, right? But there is something which I definitely tell you that if I want to start my own company, if I have to start, but at least first I would like to become an expert in the thing which I want 
to do right if i want to start a company in ui path i would make sure that first i am an expert so that tomorrow if i hire employees they don't cheat me and then they they don't give me unexpected timelines right so first i would like to have my own understanding clear and then i would like to go to a jump to start a new company Right. Only yeah. want to yeah. say, uh, but that. I totally appreciate that. That's yeah. It's it's like a probably, good thought. Yes, it's a good thought. Um, yeah, but like uh, Mukesh said, just to add things, like I would appreciate if you can start being a freelancer, because when you go as a freelancer, you get in touch with the customer and then understand what is the requirement. You then you understand the building procedure. Then you understand the architecture procedure and the pitch and all those things. You like that. That's how it starts. So when you start as a freelancer and then you understand how the market works, then you can establish yourself as an entrepreneur. So that's how I would recommend because I've seen some of my friends who have done the freelancing yeah. and, then and they once have... you are once you are the master of uh, you know of a, any uh, thing, then you know how exactly you are gonna you know run your company. Yeah. Exactly. So, so then, it's good uh, to see that you know we have very young entrepreneurs coming in. Yeah, and uh, uh, try to go in that direction. And uh, yeah. hope uh, I wish you uh, become a good entrepreneur. And then, uh, best wishes from our side. Thanks, Pali. Pali, you want to address uh, one more question, which is from Annapurna, that it is possible for the students to assess the tools of UiPath and AI Center free for learning and the project work. Yes, of it's course. It's on the AI center, yeah. Yeah, so of course you can. Um, so you have something called community edition, right? So that's open for everyone. So everyone can access it, being a professional or being a student. You can still access UiPath products there. And uh, some of the AI products, like you still have some access with community, but if you don't have, there is something called enterprise trial version, which is for 60 days. 60 days. So, yeah. yeah, so you can use that enterprise trial version and there it comes with some AI products as well. You can utilize there. So you don't need to be a professional. You can, being a student also, you can still utilize those products as possible. And maybe if, if we have Krishna here, uh, he can add some points because he has trained some of them and he, has, he himself has used so, some of the products. Yeah, Krishna, you would like to add any points here? Yes, sir. Actually, when it comes to learning, uh, UiPath Academy itself is a good a place where we can just uh, get into things to a high level of experts. So I think first we need to start with the academy course. And after that, we need to you know like uh, get over things apart from academy as well as uh, when it comes to RP and all. Sir. So this would be better for uh, when for starting basics and all. Yeah. So, so basically, he tries to mention that you start with the academy and then explore the products which are available and then you can utilize them with the community version and to a certain extent if you don't have them in community you can use enterprise edition so that's possible yeah, i hope that answers your question great thanks Pali. okay so there is a question from mercy and i can uh, take that because i am also a part of that ba series right so say mercy says that hey i'm going training as a b academy and uh, you might be doing the other series which we are running, right? Uh, I would appreciate to get an internship opportunity to get some expertise and employer required experience, right? Uh, so Mercy in the same program of the BA, right? We have the last day, which is called the demo day, which is happening, right? So there you have to present uh, your use case and uh, the team is inviting a lot of industry experts in that webinar, right? So that's a good opportunity for you to complete the learnings of the BA, present yourself as a BA, submit your project, and then you might land up in an internship, right? So this forum is dedicated for the students. For the BA series, we are already having the demo day in the other series, I think, which is planned next uh, next week for 13th or 14th, right? You might be aware of if you're a part of the program. So I think there you can do. And also uh, for internships, and that may be for everybody, right? Let's say if uh, you want, to look something right for internship and all i would request you to utilize linkedin right mm -hmm. connect to the people show what you have got right post about it tag the people because if i am an employer if i am a hiring manager how would i know that mercy or dev or krishna is a good resource right you need to tell me you need to showcase right it can be by just writing a single blog it can be by sharing about the events showing that you are interested in the product showing your certification connecting to the industry experts right that's how you get uh, these posts right and if you have more people in the network who are like hr hiring managers uh, industry expert when they come up with an uh, any opportunity of internship you directly get a notification right so yeah. just try uh, to utilize linkedin right 
Harpreet Pali, add, anything you want yeah, to add? Yeah, I also to add uh, to Mukesh, uh, we also have a dedicated uh, UI path forum where we have a jobs board. So you yes. would see a lot of uh, job openings from our customers and partners. Uh, I will share the link uh, in the chat right now. And uh, you can always, uh, you know, leverage this opportunity as well. So you will, when you will be able to see the opportunities from across India or across globe as well. Okay, yeah. so I am yeah. putting the link for the job board here. Yeah, Palli, you want to add something? Yeah. Uh, no, uh, I think you pretty much covered, but like, uh, just want to add some points with Harmit Singh. Uh, I heard some of them are looking for some jobs. Uh, whenever I go to LinkedIn, they ping me like I'm looking for a job. Like, let us let me know if there is any opportunity. I usually direct them first to a uh, job board, uh, which is there in the UiPath forum. You can open there, and then there's some specific category called job board where any kind of uh, opportunity that comes with the UiPath, being a developer, an architect, any role, you get notified there. So then you can open that website and then you can enroll yourself and then see which jobs really fit you and then you can apply for it. So it's really helpful. And uh, even if you are in a good position and if you want to share with someone who is looking for an opportunity, you can share that job board portal. So it will be very helpful for them. Great. Yeah. Okay. So then the next question is from Pinakin. What should be the career path if someone don't want to be an RP developer? And I had something which is called citizen developer, right? So that's a fair enough expectation, Pinakin, right? I'm not good at development. What should I do, right? Can I still be a part of RP? The answer is yes, right? Uh, so if you again go back to the same website, which I was talking, academy.uipart.com, there is a separate section, which is called career path, and you can choose the one which you want to, right? So to, to talk at a high level, you have the developer role, which we have been talking. You have something which is called the business analyst for the people who are good at speaking, who are good communicator, who can understand the business better and who can be a bridge between the developer and the business. We have a role which is called business analyst. You can be a business analyst, right? If you are someone who is good at testing, quality assurance, right? Testing the robots, right? We always require people who can test the robots. You can start your career as an RPA tester. You can also start your career as an RPA support engineer where I am not actually developing the automation, but if a company has 100 automations, the developer moved to a new project, who is going to support, right? So we have L1, L2 and L3 support where we always require people, right? So L1, L2 is more related to uh, organizing the stuffs, orchestrator and all. L3 is like fixing a defect in the existing code, right? You don't have to write a fresh code, but you fix it. Right. So you have and then we have other roles such as senior developer, project manager, solution architect that are now advanced roles. So as a fresher, you cannot directly jump there. But to get started, you can be a business analyst. You can be a tester. You can be a support engineer. You can be a developer. And lastly, as you told, citizen developer who are just doing the work, which is absolutely a no code platform. It's not low code. It's no code platform. Right. This four or five. Pali, if I missed something, feel free yeah. to add. Yeah. So. Um, citizen developers are something uh, growing up a lot, I would say, in the recent trend. Uh, so everyone is getting into automation space and they want to explore how they can automate their day-to-day -day work. So maybe I see it in a way that if you're someone who has very, uh, like, if, if you don't have any background, but you still want to start something uh, that uh, how automation works, maybe you can start with the no-code load. We have some platforms called Studio X, have Studio Web. You can start with that and try to be uh, try to see how that suits your automation space and then uh, automate some of the process that you are doing in your day-to-day -day life. And then once you get used to it, then you can get into the studio and then a little bit advanced. And then uh, I, I would say like I would direct you in that way. Uh, and that's how I see as a difference. And that's how you can usually uh, start your automation journey. If someone, if someone is looking for uh, automation, but sir, I don't have any coding background, then I would definitely recommend them to start with the no code, local -code platforms like that we have in UiPath, for example, Studio Web and Studio X. And, uh, and uh, some of them who have guided uh, are now and uh, professional RPA developers. They started with this Studio X and then they moved a little advanced to Studio and then they started using all the other products and now they are a professional RPA developers. So so it's just about you need to start. Uh, so I think uh, everyone can get into automation space very easily now. So there's no hindrance that you, do not, you need to know coding or nothing like that. It's just we need to start. 
great okay so next question i'll direct to you harmit right uh, i mean as dc work to like in a ui path will i get placement by ui path at the end of the btech and that's the same question can i get a placement from ui path so uh like, okay you want the placement from ui path in ui path okay <laughs> In UI so, path. In UI path. So definitely, you know, we uh, have openings for the uh, you can the, the uh, fresh graduates. So it's always the placement uh, which happens, uh, uh, you know, every every year. So whenever I think you can always refer to our uh, UI path dot the uh, uh, careers uh, of careers uh, uh, website, and then you can see uh, whenever you know we have the uh, options available for the uh, freshers. Okay. And yeah. if not UI path, there mm -hmm. are companies who Absolutely. work in the UI path technology. You mm -hmm. can also be part of them, right? So yeah. you have to just uh, keep looking at the job market, right? And yeah. now, Again, yeah. also, also yeah. you can always go to the forum. Uh, I will share the link as well. Uh, so you can always go to the forum for the jobs board. So all our customers and partners, they do keep uh, you know sending all the uh, updating their uh, requirements for uh, for the uh, for for UI path. So a lot of customers, partners, you know, in healthcare, manufacturing, all of these uh, industries, uh, the uh, you know automation space. You will see a lot of uh, companies are being uh, are using today the uh, UI path. So there's a lot of opportunity in the uh, in industry. Somehow yeah. we are working directly with the paper, that's what you can say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Armin. Okay, next Krishna, the next question is from you from for, for you from Nandini. Uh so I think you can read that, right? As a student champion, you are able to read the question or you want me to read that for you? Yes, sir. I'll I'll have I'll do. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. So good morning, everyone. I have just started as a UIPA student level champion. If you had a few queries, will I receive any appreciation certificate that I can share on LinkedIn and other platforms? Surely you will get. And I think they have announced uh, the 2024 uh, student developers, I think so. So you can add those things directly into your uh, uh, LinkedIn and you can post that you are a part of UIPA student developer community. So, and uh, I think they also will send uh, swag gifts and other things when you start your journey and uh, they have to know like you are doing your best in the SDC community. So they will definitely send and you don't know how to worry about that. And um, how can I inform the UiPath community regarding the events that I can, that I will be hosting at my college? Definitely they will be asking you to uh, create an RSVP. I think in the orientation session itself, they have, uh, you know, like, uh, they have brief regarding that and furthermore they'll be providing you the mentors like I had my mentors likewise they also will uh, you know provide uh, those guidance and you will be definitely a UI path and the events that you are hosting in the college will definitely be in touch with because you'll be creating an RSVP there so you don't have to worry about that also so everything will be going under guidance of your mentors as well as UI path so I think I'm clear in this slide. great uh, Harmit, you want to add something to that, that how they can reach out to uh, for any event which they want to host in their college, right? Who they can reach out apart from their mentor. I think from community, they can reach out to you directly. Yes, yes. Yeah. You can definitely reach out to me. I will share my uh, email address as well. Yeah. Okay, great. Thanks, Harmit. Okay, Palli, you want to take, there is no support for Mac. <laughs> uh, we do have support for Mac. Uh, yeah. sorry, sorry. I'm sorry, I might, I might pronounce your name right, but we do have uh, in Mac, uh, it's possible and we, I have seen some of my friends use it and I have used once as well. So maybe if you have any anything to clarify, you can raise your query in forum and uh, you get the answers in the very next minute. So I think it should yeah. be fine. Yeah. 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 Forum Great. is an extremely, uh, you know, high energetic place where for any of the technical queries you have, we will be able to resolve it. We have our MEPs, we have our technical experts as well there to answer any of your uh, technical queries. 
Yeah. Great. Yeah. And I think that answers the next question from Sumit. While developing a robot, I find some error. Where can I search the solution? Just go to forum.uipod.com and you can search it. The other thing which I would just like to uh, recommend is that whatever error you have, just paste it in Google and just mention UiPath Forum in front of it. It might, it will redirect directly you to the specific, right? If you don't find it, you can always sign up, create a new topic and within some time, you are definitely going to get answers, right? There are people, lot of people, friendly people who are always there to help one of them is palni right he has helped me a lot when i used to post my queries right so a lot of people are active on the forum okay so then okay i think that is addressed okay are any there job opportunities for rpa practitioner who's who is new in the field i think we already addressed that we can be a solution developer a solid sol a developer business analyst citizen developer qa or the support right okay so Okay, for organizing, how mature do you think RPA in terms of industry adoption rate? Would you say RPA now is where machine learning was five, seven years ago in this area that about experience boom in the near future? More questions to follow down. Okay, so I'll first address this and then I'll request Palni to add your views as well. Okay, yeah. so is RPA mature? The answer is yes, right? The adoption rate of RPA is very high. Again, you don't have to trust me, right? You can just go and uh, see the Gartner report for 2024, which is already published and uh, Proudly can tell you that UiPath is leading the quadrant, which definitely means that yes, RPA is leading the market, right? Would the RPA be where the machine learning was about five to seven years ago? It is not a RPA versus the machine learning or RPA versus AI. The way I see it, it is a combination of both, right? Now being in this industry for close to six, seven years, I was also in a thought that, okay, this is RPA, this is AI, they are two separate parts, but now I understand that yes, both of these has to work together for a solution. So it's not RP versus ML or RP versus AI, it's RP plus AI. And now if you notice, if you are in the UiPath journey, I'm not sure what experience you have since we have five to seven years. So UiPath itself has a lot of AI products which are introduced. So it's RP plus AI. We have document understanding or artificial intelligence, process mining, task mining, all the you can bring your own ML models also, right? So yes, I won't say it is mature. It is moving at a very, very fast pace, right? And yeah, Palli, if you want to add something to those questions yeah, and then yeah, we'll see what else we have. I really appreciate the question who, has, who have who are raised it. Pega. I, because I appreciate the thought process that you have towards the technology. Uh, to just start with your first question, uh, how mature do you think the RPA is in terms of industrial adoption rate? Of course, it's highly mature now. And there are so many advancements that has happened with the RPA. It's no more just an RPA, it's intelligent automation. So it has moved from normal automation to intelligent automation now, which means you are trying to integrate some of the other uh, 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 cutting edge technologies like AI, ML, and then NLP and all those things along with automation. And now it has evolved as intelligent automation and if you see to any organizations there is no more like an automation coe or an rpa coe it's like an intelligent automation coe with that so <clears throat> cast got already matured so you are in the right phase of entering rpa so if you are someone who was going to start your career with rpa uh, then it's very good time you can enter you can start learning rpa and then over a period of time you will also get to know about the other uh, integration technologies like AI, ML, and NLP, and all those things like chatbots, and even conversation AI. So then you get to know them and adopt them, and then you try to integrate with RPA, and then you also become a part of an intelligent automation. So that's how the RPA stages now. And would you say RPA now is where machine learning was about five, seven years ago? Um, it's, it's, RPA is not something that recently started. It's almost like we have automation since a long years before like uh, like even seven eight years before there were automation where basic vb excel and then we had some dot net programs and then there are so many tools that came into market but now uh, since almost like six seven years like uipath is leading the market uh, with all their uh, new technologies uh, and that's why many organizations are trying to use uipath with their rpa journey as a strategical tool for their rpa uh, so yeah, that uh, it's not something that newly started. It's been there for almost like uh, I would say like ten years. Because when I started, there was already RPA running. So it's not that something is working now, but it has got evolved a lot. And 
coming to the third question is there any area that is about to experience a boom in near future it's already in boom i would say <laughs> so if you are starting with rpa uh, i'm pretty sure in near one year or even six months i would say because technologies are drastically uh, getting developed so people now we are also using rpa and now we are adopting to all other uh, uh, technologies like ai and ml so if you are starting now uh, it'll be in a very good phase and then you'll get into ai for sure and then because every industry is moving towards artificial intelligence so at one point you will also be pushed somehow <laughs> that's how i can say like push somehow to learn artificial intelligence so uh, so it's the right time so whoever wants to start their journey as rpa engineer or an rpa developer you are good to start so uh, yeah that's what i would like to add great so pally yeah. just adding one more question on that uh, what does the industry 4.0 what does 4.0 industry expects expects from ui path from ui path okay four point industry expects from ui path um of course like every every company is as i told you they are moving towards artificial intelligence right so any any product that they want to adapt their uh, uh, industry as a strategical tool they look for whether the tool has some artificial intelligence in that and ui path has already introduce so many products like document understanding like what mukesh told we have document understanding a center and you can build your own ml models and you can import ml models as so many existing products are in ui path and they are the leading one in the industry it's not something i am telling or mukesh telling you can refer google you can open gartner's report there's something already there that it's a survey been made across all the industries from all the employees that uh, which tool is really helpful in their automation journey which tool you look as a tool for innovation and uh, all kind of an artificial intelligence and that's how the rating has come and ui path is leading for almost 6 7 years now so uh, so that's why everyone is using ui path and we also recommend the same uh, so uh, ui path is already there in place of artificial intelligence it's not uh, it's not any more an rpa it's, it's already evolved to an artificial intelligence so if you are expecting something on artificial intelligence as a, as everyone is doing now as a trend then you have you have path in place so that's what i can say great yeah i, I just to add, yeah, yeah please go ahead so you know uh, when you saying that you know what is industry scenario so definitely the demand for automation it is already increasing day by day so you talk about any other sectors be it like your banking finance your startups uh, you know healthcare manufacturing they are uh, already adopting a lot of uh, automation extensively and uh, you know plus uh, when you also say you know so always there is a you would always always uh, see nowadays the digital transformation you know which is happening across organization across levels so it's you know uh, when you talk about the automation so it will be you know it will contribute to a promising future for the uh, automation sector so you need not worry about uh, the future so hop on to this journey and uh, believe me you will not uh, uh, you, you know you will be more than happy great we have our uh, live testimonials live uh, <laughs> mvps here to uh, you know who have good 7 years 10 years experience and they can definitely uh, you know be of great help okay and just to add to both the points right what is expects from ui path is that it is in my experience it is expecting to industry is expecting more kind of integrations with the technologies like a new connectors new integration so that once you go for the automations ui path is able to automate all the industry level tools right mainframe sap salesforce all of that and there ui path is working very very hard you would see that ui path has something which is called integration services which is now able to connect across the majority of the enterprise applications right which is a native integration right so that's how ui path is taking care of it okay now let's move ahead to pega's question where it says that hey the ui path certification has moved to the modern design okay fine so uh, pega for your question you can again go to the same website which is uh, this one i'll just again share it to everybody for the people who are preparing for the certification so the question is the format of certification has changed what are the certification and where should i study the new syllabus and all website is same you have this tab which is the certification okay and that has all the certification so cert associate 
advanced developer so in if you talk about advanced developer you can just click on this one which is the exam description document and it has all the details what exactly is coming right so the primary difference which you would notice here is that now it is shifted to the version 2022.10 right which was previously in an old version so that means that now you have to study everything which is on the modern design of uipath and you have to focus on this version right so this is the document which will give you all the questions and the best part is you have a learning plan dedicated which you click here it will take you to academy that will have the dedicated learning lessons for this right so yes it is now shifted to the modern design experiences right okay i'll stop the sharing and uh, armit what are the next questions right i'll just i'll just lost the track i'll just open the yeah. chat again yeah just a second yeah so i need to modern design just a second uh, okay i got it yeah. so do company is the yeah yeah okay you want you want to continue yeah no no fine fine you can go ahead okay so now i think the next question is for the student champion uh krishna you have the question from gomati so it would be nice if krishna could share his experience on his journey for being the champion i see four people liking that question right so krishna you have to <laughs> you have to justify to that question now <laughs> yeah definitely so thank you sir so i just before that i just want to uh, congrats gomati for being in scc and we are happy for you so uh my experience is lot of this ui path student developer champion uh, program was a big you no know, like career turning point for my uh, you no know, career as well as my uh, uh lifestyle also so because i just want to be clear in two things one is like uh, what sdc program made an impact on my own development as well as how this uh, sdc program impacted my uh, environment so first thing is how sdc uh, impacted me is like um, while i was starting before i was starting sdc uh, as i was like a normal student where i would be coming from college uh, in the morning and be leaving in the evening just being a normal student but after this uh, ui path uh, sdc like this made me to uh, get a job in an uh, us based company so uh, definitely this would help you to get placements uh, for that you have to project yourself just not with the name of sdc you have to show your works you have to be excellent in your automation skills and you have to be good with uh, you know like industry experts community um, connections and all right so you have to be in such way and after that thing is um, now uh, with the help of i have started with uh, 50 to uh, 60 students we were started i was started my training of the rpa now um, now in our college there is a community for uh, ui path uh, uh, you know like ui path domain like where a placement empowerment program was started with the help of this sdc sdc was a trigger for this uh, sdc was a trigger for our uh, you know like upcoming journey because um, students now in our training around 300 to 400 students were in our training like i was in a third year student uh, well while i was starting i was around in a third year i was starting with 550 to 60 people now in a final year now third year i've gone their uh, sdc program and they were going to train around 300 to 400 students and this made them a great impact in our environment as well as in our career you know like growth so i'm damn sure that uh sdc will definitely develop your uh, soft skills like your communication as well as your leadership quality as well as your uh, stress handle as well as your uh, instant uh, decision making and all you'll be having uh, that much you no know, development in your soft skills also so when it comes to art skills your uh, you no know, like many people were not aware of uh, getting a domain like they are not good with how uh, what domain I'm capable of, they are not that much aware of that. But when it comes to this UI path, that is low code thing, many mechanical students or ENDI students, triple E students, EC students, even IT students, they are being in a tech field, but they cannot able to code that much. So uh, they are in an average state, but they cannot because when it comes to full stack and other things, you have to be in a good, uh, good uh, in coding skills. But how can I excel in technical field rather than uh, into a coding side? They those people took RPA as their domain and they are excelling in that. So I'm damn sure in that. Like 
it will develop both your soft skills as well as your art skills and that way it developed me also so now uh, i think most of my college uh, corners they know my name because when it comes to vip rp they know krishna kumar is there in our college likewise there i'm i'm happy for uh, being like that so and also uh, with the help of uh, our management as well as our mentors from vip my mentor was uh, mukesh kala sir and palneepan sir where they were guiding from starting uh, because in my initial stage they were guiding me and because i was new to that and i am not that much into like how i'm going to take like many people were asking how i'm going to take training and all right so likewise i also had such training and uh, such doubts as well as how i'm going to get placements and and all such doubts where uh, i also had when i was starting my uh, uh sdc so with the help of mukesh kala sirs and palani apan sirs insights so i've uh, trained people and with the help of their uh, you know like um trigger i have made some impact in my college because after if i leave my college also for a next five to <clears throat> because my community will grow to the next level because those juniors will train those ju- uh, their juniors and will go as a cycle connection itself so after five to 10 years if i uh, return back to my college definitely they would know uh, because ye path was tar <laughs> with uh, um in the help of sdc program so um, this is how my experiences but the one thing i just want to give uh, <clears throat> as a tip for the upcoming sdc is that uh, definitely don't work as uh, what the authority says or the management says like uh, give your additional dedications also because not being like uh, uh, what specific things you have to you know like uh, rather than being a good um, connecting workshops and all you have to show certain interest on your innovation dedication and all you have to be implementing so that you can project yourself when it comes to hiring and all so first of all you have to get excel in those things because junior students completely depend on yourself uh, and your uh, uh, peers will definitely depend on yourself if you don't know certain things definitely they have They, they, that will make a great impact on those students like uh, because when it comes to learning you have to know everything then only you have to go and train things so in such way you have to be well clear in that so i think uh, this is how my experience gone and it will definitely will go for a next uh, for my journey also sir so i'm grateful to our mentors also so thank you i think i'm clear in this yeah, yeah yes Thank you. Actually, you have left a strong <laughs> legacy behind. I. <laughs> yeah, you seems like a celebrity now in the no, college. Sir, like... <laughs> no, no, that's good. That's, yeah, that's good. good actually, if yeah, I was in a college project. and I would get this opportunity, man, definitely I would be so much happy. But I missed it. <laughs> okay, great. So you Thank you. You are a role model for all of yes. us. You know? Yes. 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 Absolutely. Okay, so moving ahead, guys. Uh, so we have a question from Dev, which says that website for doing small project challenges, right? So, uh, Dev, I have already replied to you, but I'll put the thing in the chat as well, right? So, UiPath Forum has something which is called, uh, sorry, use case repository. Okay, there we have a lot of use cases, and then there is something which is called a challenges series, which I am also doing with UiPath, right? So, a lot of challenges are coming every week. You got to win prizes, so I have shared the use cases, use case repository, and the challenges link for all of you to refer. Okay, the next question is again for you, Krishna. I guess that is again for an SDC uh, campus hiring. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You can. Yeah. You can. Yeah. You, you can. Yes, sir. So when it comes to campus hiring, uh, uh, many companies are moving to automations now. So many uh, companies coming to your college or uh, when they are hiring, they are mostly focusing on UI path uh, RPA developers. Likewise, they are projecting their requirements and all. So being that, you have to project yourself. Like already I said, you have to project yourself with the work you have done, not just with the name UI path student developer champion. You have to project yourself that you have done this much of workshop, that you are trained this much of people, that you are capable. of uh, um simply i just want to sell you have to sell yourself to the company that you are capable and you will uh, you know like definitely make a good healthy impact in that company for being in an rpa role so you definitely will get but you the one thing is projecting yourself to the best of your level will be you know like a uh, get placements and all because when it comes to placements not just sdc role or not just being that much skill uh, you have you have to showcase them while showcasing only you have you will be definitely uh, known to their best of knowledge so on campus hiring you have to focus on your uh, 
uh, work, your projects, when it comes to RPA, they will be mainly focusing on real-time projects in RPA. So for uh, getting uh, developing your projects, you need to well um, train with uh, well known with the knowledge in RPA and uh, other things. So you have to go in such a way. I think I'm clear with this, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, so I think, guys, we are just reaching off the time, right? So we'll just take some of the queries. So, so uh, how can we do the captcha automation while developing a robot? Harmit has you know, posted. You can post it on the forum. But quickly, I want to tell you that we have something which is called UiPath Marketplace. Okay, there we have a lot of custom components which are built to solve the captcha as well. And in case if you want to utilize any third-party service, which is an API-based service, which you can use, definitely you can utilize this as well. And definitely you can post the query in the forum you will get an answer okay uh, pega has a last question on the certification that would would you say associate level certification enough to get started my career or the advanced one okay so see both the associate and the advanced certification has clearly mentioned that what kind of experience you need to have before you apply for that certification right so if you are beginning you are just having one to two years of experience you should go for the associate one because the advanced one requires you to at least have built three or four robots and i'm not saying i'm not denying you to go and don't go give that exam if you are capable go ahead and give that but my only suggestion would be there is a practice exam there right in that both of the exam go to the practice exam give that exam and if you are able to score 85 90 without cheating without taking health of the internet you are ready otherwise stick to the associate right and once you learn everything once you gain the expertise then you can definitely go for the advanced ones only if you want to add something there yeah to just quickly add i will yeah. go with what mukesh told yeah uh, we'll go for associate first and then once you have cleared and then you are really good at it and then try the practice exam and if you are able to clear it 100 percent then go for yeah. the advanced one yeah okay uh, harmit it might be a question for you that in the welcome call it was mentioned that the uh, december 2023 can may i note the exact date of assessment mm -hmm. harmit or krishna uh, if you are aware of we'll just get back to you on this question yeah okay you can write an email to harmit mm -hmm. uh, annapurna yeah, annapurni right I've so then my, uh, yeah. yeah okay great uh yeah Okay, so and then Sumit has a very big question. I have a total of five years. Previously, I worked as a .NET developer for three years. Palli, coming to you. Okay, after transitioning my second company, I started becoming as a working developer. And then I gained in Selenium. You have a good experience. From the past seven months, I have been working as a UiPath developer. While updating my resume, would it be beneficial to... Absolutely, man. <laughs> you, you have a very good experience and all of that is related to RPA automation only, right? Be it Selenium, be it .NET, be it RPA, be it UiPath, right? All of that is strictly, strictly appearing to automation, right? You should add it, right? But, but I want to just give one suggestion, right? I am taking a lot of mock interviews for the candidate and actual interview. The thing which I see most of the time is you only put the things in the resume which you are capable to answer, right? I know what is Selenium and I just put that I know Selenium does not work right you put in resume only the things which you are able to answer in the interview otherwise it creates a very very bad impression that you have say that master in agile master in dotnet and i ask you that give me two libraries you are not able to give absolutely no no right while creating resume put only the things which you are aware of right Pali, what do you want to say <laughs> still the same like when i observed <laughs> when i am taking interviews right There'll be some points that they may not be aware, but that's what yeah. I would recommend even what Mukesh told. Like be aware of what you're mentioning in your resume and be prepared for it. And only if you're no, when you're really aware about it, then mention it. If not, then please don't mention it. It's fine if you're not mentioning it. Yeah. Okay. What opportunity projects? Okay. So, uh, Wali, I'll just put all the links again for you in the chat, right? That you can go to the use case repository. There we have a lot of use cases for you to practice and get the insights. Okay. Uh, Krishna, again, one more question for you from Kavya. If we put effort in big community, right? You can read the question from Kavya, right? Yes, sir. But actually yeah. what they are asking is, will you have, uh, like they are developing a big community in their college. Will it be possible like doing that? UiPath will come for their on-campus hiring and all they are asking. Uh, please reach out to me uh, for this. Yeah. So we'll get back to you. Okay. I've already shared my email ID. 
Yeah. Right. So all this placement hiring related questions, right? Because I think this is not the correct forum, right? Yeah. So please, please do directly email Harmeet. So that will give you an answer and any technical questions. I see that I'm getting an update in updating studio, not able to update those queries should be redirected to UiPath forum, right? Where we have experts directly from UiPath to take that questions, right? Then do companies train the new people hiring hands-on practice? Yes, definitely, right? So Pinakin, to address that, I yeah. am also hiring people in my company. We do train them. But if I am already getting a trained resource, I would always prefer a resource who is already having a certificate, right? Let's say you are an employer and you go to market, you have two people, one who is already certified, already having the experience in UIPA, the other one is absolutely beginner, which one you would take, right? So if I, I am an RPA company, I would like to pick the one who is already having the at least the basic knowledge right so that i don't have to spend much on the training right so to answer your question it's yes but having said that you need to have the base of the rpa ui path with you are there any courses available for integration of rpa ml yes absolutely gotami they are available website is academy.uipath.com go to the courses you have all the courses there okay so harmi this is a college for, uh, question for you how can we ask sponsorship for conducting events in the college? Email? <laughs> <laughs> tech fest uh, or anything, right? Does you have yeah. a sponsor that I uh, so, over to you? Uh, Vijita, uh, do reach out to me and uh, you know we'll answer all your queries on that email. Yeah. Okay, so after completing the assessment, should we start the learning courses? Is there any schedule? No, no, it's all recorded courses in the UiPath Academy. You can watch it any pace. You can watch it three times, four times, 10 times, absolutely free. It's all always there, right? No need to pay anything. Okay, if you update the issue, where do you post? You post it in UiPath. Okay, fine. So myself, mm -hmm. uh, Okay, Abel. Okay, I know, right? Advantages to perfume automation developer during the college while working in a company. As we have already mentioned, you should start with the associate, right? And once you have the learning experience, then you go for the advanced one, right? So yeah. because advanced one requires you to have more hands-on practice. So we have Krishna Kumar who has done his associate certification. You can yes. Get some guidance with him and he's also yeah. an SDC. Yeah. So Abel, I have seen your post. Uh, yeah. Congratulations for you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So with that, guys, we have completed all the sessions and we are already on time as well. Right. So thank you so much for attending this session for your insightful questions. Any more questions you have? We have posted our LinkedIn uh, on the chat previously. You guys can connect with us. You can drop an email to Hermit. Anything related to student champion, which you don't feel that we would be able to answer. We have our student champion. Right. And over to you, Pali and Hermit for closing the sessions. Yeah. Uh, thanks, everyone. Thanks, Hermit, and thanks, Mukesh, Krishna, for uh, being around. Uh, I really appreciate uh, for everyone who have joined today, and I hope it was really helpful. And uh, we are always available with LinkedIn or any social media platform that you want to see and connect with us. We are more than happy to help you out. Thank you. Yeah. Great. Uh, Harmit, over to you. Thank you. Uh, thanks a lot, Palani, Mukesh, and Krishna Kumar. Uh, and thank you everyone, uh, you know, for being part of this webinar. And we absolutely, you know, uh, appreciate your engagement uh, with so many questions. And, you know, uh, we are we eager that, you know, uh, we look forward you to uh, being, you know, uh, automation specialist, automation engineers. And uh, for any of the queries, uh, we have already posted uh, for your UiPath Academy to reach out to become a committee member. You can you know, log into iupathcommunity.com for forum for your technical queries. And uh, I think, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for your uh, time yeah. and interest. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you, guys. Have a good day. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Sir. Bye. Bye.